Good morning. Thanks for joining us this morning at the Liberton Kirk Reflections. My mum is 91 and lives independently. She did come to stay with us during the first lockdown in March because as she had fallen dislocated her shoulder. But she was very relieved to return to her own home and garden in June. This past week, her gas boiler stopped working and it was cold. She was very stoic about it, saying she was having to boil kettles for hot water, but that she would be phoning the gas company straight away as she pays for a speedy repair service and because of her age. That's the background I'm going to tell you the story of what happened when she phoned. She said afterwards, she says, Lindsay, it took me half an hour of pressing buttons, of constantly talking to a computer, pressing this button, pressing that one, saying about references, saying about numbers, saying about dates, all sorts of things like that. She took ages and she, all she wanted to talk to was a real person. But anyway, she had this computer, as most of us know when we try and deal with these companies. So anyway, she um, kept on going like that. And eventually they said that she could have an appointment. So they suggested an appointment the last week in January. And she said, no, because she wanted it much more immediately than that. So the computer responded and said, oh, OK, you don't want this appointment. Would you like an appointment the first week in February? And she went, no, <laughs> because these appointments were going further and further away. So then they said, OK, you would, could have an appointment the second week in February. At which point she went, help, because she just couldn't bear the thought of having to start all over again the whole thing the whole rigmarole with all the pressing the knobs in pressing everything in um, and starting again in the hope that eventually she might get a sooner appointment okay well a bit of a miracle happened when she said help like that something must have happened with the computer algorithm so it stopped being a computer and a lady from Bangladesh answered the phone. And once mum had explained the situation to her, they said, OK, we will get you an appointment tomorrow. So that's wonderful. And sure enough, she got an appointment tomorrow and things have been fixed. I think it made me think that our lives are often like this. We get swept along going with the flow, feeling helpless and hopeless. All it takes is for, is for us to yell out help to God. And he takes us in his arms and sorts things out for us. And we wonder why we didn't do this before. And I'm going to read you a bit from Psalm 25. I look to the Lord for help at all times and he rescues me from danger. Turn to me, Lord, and be merciful to me, because I am lonely and weak. Relieve me of my worries and save me from all my troubles. Consider my distress and suffering and forgive all my sins. Shall we pray? Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for bringing us to the start of a new week. We thank you that you have been with us throughout this unprecedented time in our nation's history. We thank you that you are there to listen to our cries for help. And that perhaps things don't happen as instantly as they did for my mom. But they will happen, Lord, because you are beside us. You are walking with us. You are caring for us. You are our hope in ages past and our hope for years to come. I ask you to bless all the people who are listening to this this morning. In your name. Amen. Thanks for listening. Bye.